Welcome to AvoWare. Today we're going to cover video view and object detection. By opening up the video view tool, you'll be presented with a 2x2 layout and a blank canvas in which you can drag and drop different cameras onto. This layout is customizable from the 2x2 all the way up to a 4x4 depending on the use case and the cameras that you want to monitor at this time. We can start by searching to auto-complete any cameras that represent what we are looking for. In this case, we can drag these cameras onto one or many different locations. And this will allow us to build out a custom view that is applicable to what we are looking to monitor. Now in this case, we have a number of different layers and information tools at our disposal. In the bottom right, we have the ability to first leverage heat maps. Heat maps are a feature that leverage our object detection in order to display where a concentration of objects is present over a period of time. By, shoot, by choosing heat maps people, we can look at where people concentrate on, on this, these video panes individually within the span of an hour. This allows us to see where the high traffic areas are and what we need to cover uh, a little more uh, specifically. We can also go into settings and increase this period of time from anywhere from one hour to 24 hours, allowing us to get the specific period of time that is relevant to our use case. We can also leverage our inf info layers in order to display things like our timeline. Uh, and our timeline is represented down below with the peaks and valleys in a blue and a purple color. So the blue represents any people that are present indicated uh, by the bounding boxes uh, that can be enabled within our info layers. And as there is an increase in, in people, you will see a spike and a decrease will, will be represented as a valley. We can mouse over to find the decreases or increases in population. In this case, the number of people that are on screen in one area in order to find the relevant data at a relevant point in time. The purple represents vehicles in the same manner, and we can turn on the vehicle bounding boxes the same way that we did people. We also have the ability to leverage counting in order to show the current number of those objects on screen. This is represented by people in blue and vehicles in purple, so that you can monitor the real-time counts in a parking lot or a uh, convenience store or any other office location that is relevant here. We can also leverage the share or save button in order to export an mp4 of a vital security clip. We can export a link that can be instantly shared with any users that, can, that need access to this video without credentials. We can also choose how long that link will, be, will stay active. And we can also save a, a clip as a bookmark. This allows us to choose whether we want to save this clip indefinitely or for an extended period of time beyond the typical retention period. And lastly, of course, you can go full screen in order to view the video at a, at, uh, with a higher level of visibility. You can do this for the full screen as well as a single video pane to access the higher resolutions that the camera may be capable of producing.